Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Petranya Poonswan. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. We begin with shocking video from inside a courtroom here in Las Vegas. We do want to warn you, the video is graphic. I would have no issue with that, but this is suspended rather than just sending to prison for any length of time. I think it makes more sense given the circumstances and his ability to do probation successfully that he's given this opportunity. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. In accordance with the laws of state of Nevada, this court. Oh. As you can see there, a Clark County judge was attacked on the bench Wednesday while sentencing 30-year-old Diaba Redden in an attempted battery case. Video of this attack shows Redden leaping over the bench and landing on top of District Judge Mary Kay Holtis, who is a former Clark County prosecutor. Redden's attorney had asked the judge to grant him probation, saying he had undergone mental health treatment. We will have continuing coverage of this story at LVRJ.com. Now to top stories sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Bail was set at a half million dollars for a man accused of firing more than 70 rounds from his high-rise unit on New Year's Eve. 45-year-old John Roger Leskus was arrested on Sunday after police responded to multiple calls of gunshots near the MGM Grand. No one was hurt in the shooting, but the judge who set Leskus bail said that she is concerned about the danger he could pose in the community. If he does post bail, he can be released from custody only only under high-level electronic monitoring, and he will have to remain in the Las Vegas area. A fourth attempt to steal a plane from the North Las Vegas airport turned out to be successful over the weekend, but the suspect was later arrested. Police said that 40-year-old Damien Sukaitis was taken into custody in connection to the theft of a single-engine type aircraft, which was flown to an area near the airport east of Barstow, California. Police said that they believe that Sukaitis may have also been responsible for the attempted thefts of an airplane three other times at the North Las Vegas Airport back in December. Four new non-voting members were sworn in Tuesday to the Clark County School Board. The new trustees are joining the board as a result of a new state law that creates a hybrid school board in Clark County. So I'm incredibly uh, heartened by the thought of what we can do together for all students in Clark County knowing that we have an incredible chance to make us the best school district uh, in, the, in, the, in the country. The American Civil Liberties Union of Nevada is asking a judge to dismiss a case against a teacher who was removed from a school board meeting. Aramis Bacalao of Becker Middle School is one of two teachers who were cited and charged with disturbing the peace after refusing to leave a school board meeting back in August. The Clark County Education Association said in a statement to the review journal that quote said that the efforts to silence Aramis Bacalao's voice and deny him his rights is a gross injustice to a frontline educator. CCSD has not responded to requests for comment. A hearing on the bid to dismiss the case is set for January 10th. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Mostly cloudy skies will continue with light winds through the evening, lows at around 45 degrees. Looking ahead to your Thursday forecast, expect clear and sunny skies throughout the day with highs in the high 50s. But winds could gust up to 22 miles per hour and the high will be around 59 degrees. On Friday morning, you can see partly cloudy skies with light winds with skies clearing up slightly in the afternoon. Showers return to the forecast starting Saturday night and into Sunday. In business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The trade show that bills itself as the most powerful tech event in the world will open its doors in Las Vegas next week. CES is expected to draw an estimated 130,000 attendees, kicking off one of the city's busiest annual convention seasons. More than 150 countries are expected to be represented at the show that will have displays in 41 different technologies 
technology categories. Exhibits will be set up at the Las Vegas Convention Center, the Venetian Expo Center, and ARIA. Trade show floors will be open for four days beginning on January 9th. Smith's Food and Drug is hiring up to 80 new employees for its North Las Vegas distribution center. The company is looking to fill logistics and order selector positions. Smith's will hold a hiring event on January 10th at a warehouse at the new center at 8951 North Terrell B. Adams Street. An application must first be filled out online at the link on your screen. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. UNLV quarterback Jaden Maiava announced on social media that he has entered the NCAA transfer portal. Maiava played high school football in Las Vegas at Liberty and helped lead the Rebels to a 9-5 record, their first berth in the Mountain West Championship game, and the first bowl game for the program since 2013. Prior to the guaranteed rate bowl loss to Kansas, he announced he would be returning to UNLV next season. In Health News, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A recent study revealed the top trending diets of 2023, and researchers explore the advantages and drawbacks of each one to provide insights into which may be the most beneficial for specific health goals and lifestyles. The top trending diet was Weight Watchers. Researchers say this diet helps people make sustainable lifestyle changes, allows flexibility, and includes all the food groups. A drawback is the high monthly cost of the program. To learn more about the other top trending diets, you can go to LVRJ.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The PGA Tour opens the 2024 season this week with the Century at the Scenic Plantation Course in Hawaii. Scotty Scheffler is the plus 525 favorite at Circus Sportsbook to win the event, with Colin Morikawa the 10 to 1 second choice. Victor Hovland is next at plus 1050, followed by Max Homa at plus 1225. Patrick Cantlay is listed at plus 1325, while Xander Schauffele is 15 to 1, and Ludwig Aberg is 16 to 1. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who is playing. Review Journal's John Casalomitas has the latest entertainment news updates. Christina Aguilera was most impressive in her premiere at Voltaire Belle de Nuit at the Venetian. She premiered her show on New Year's Eve weekend and we were there. We happened to be seated next to Paula Abdul at this show. Aguilera was just impressive vocally in terms of dancing, her production numbers. She has an all Vegas horn section. Also, we talked to Luke Bryan recently. He is closing his show at Resorts World Theater on Saturday night, but he promises at some point he will be back on the Las Vegas Strip. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.